So let's let's watch the markets carefully here to see how they start really, you know, after the digestion period of, of post-Fed activity, what happens, right? We sold Got off uh, yesterday. Seasonally weak period. Seasonally weak. You got the Tepper comments of him telling me he thinks the stock market's fine here. Right, so you Fed did a good job. The but remember, the seasonally weak period extends uh, until the middle to the end of next week. So, I mean, don't try to fight it. Feel it. We uh, that's <laughs> don't try to fight it. Feel it. I He's like that. Very rarely. We'll quoted. put that on a T-shirt. Yeah. Uh, J.P. Morgan's up. We said a lot of the banks were up. A bit of a reversal to how really the, early. the trend trade was. Look, over I the last love the Lenore days. quarter. Of course, they're speaking right now. I thought that uh, Stuart Mill has done a, uh, just a terrific job, executive chairman. Uh, I do think that there's some stocks that can go up. But if this, if we were really in a moment where it's as bad and is and the Fed is as silly as everybody has said who has come on air, then we should be down. I don't know, two, three percent. Really? I mean, if you listen to these people, they basically think that the, that Jay completely misjudged. Now, there's a lot of stimulus. I mean, that's one of the things Albert is talking about. That was not Jay's fault, that there's so much stimulus. But Jay does want to get... You never hear people come on. Here's something, Scott. You never hear people come on and say, you know what? I share Jay Powell's worry about African-Americans and Hispanics not having enough jobs, that they're 10% unemployment and they were 5%. Why don't you hear that? I mean, that is part and parcel with what's wrong with our country. So why is that not brought up except for by Jay Powell? Jay Powell brought it up twice yesterday. And just people ignored it entirely as if, well, yeah, what can we do? No, he actually cares. That's why it makes him a great Fed chairman. He cares about the disenfranchised. The other guys just care about the billionaires. Which is why he's going to keep the pedal as close to the floor as right. he possibly can without going too far over the speed well, limit. Isn't it right? lip service to say, you know what, I'm really worried about Black Lives Matter versus what he's doing, which is to try to help black people get jobs? I mean, I don't understand why that isn't the mantra and the ethos of this country. This guy is doing what we all feel should happen, which is that we should have African-Americans and Hispanics do better in this country. But no, he gets criticized for doing that, for wanting that. Let's not be so two-faced. Let's be one-faced. We want that, and so does Jack. It really stood out to me yesterday when he said, speaking broadly about the people who are out of work and the many millions of them who are, that we're not going to forget about you. And what do you, you say each time? Who is overrepresented in the out of work? And he doesn't like that because he has a heart, and he's a thinking person. So I'm not going with these guys who say, well, he screwed up. I'm going with people who say, he's trying to do what's right for the country. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.